Hi, me cuties. We're so excited to let you know that you can now binge our newest series, Influence, exclusively and ad-free on Wondery Plus. It's Meet Cute's modern adaptation of Jane Austen's Persuasion, and we know you're going to love it. Marriage is a covenant that should be respected. Are you sure about this, B? This is all starting to feel wrong. Reggie, please take this seriously. We can't have it being questioned at court. I'm with Reggie, dearest B. It's noble you want to make change for the kingdom, but at the sacrifice of your own happiness, there has to be another way. Like what? I don't know. Magic beans? Zoots, I... I keep failing you. Since the day we've met, you've seen what a coward I am. I'm not the strong partner I know you wish was standing next to you today. Sometimes I think we'd all be better off if you just let that ogre squash me. It was a troll. See? I can't even keep my life-threatening moments straight. There's been so many. This is our wedding. I know it's our wedding, but just... Just imagine, like... Like uh, when we have an heir, and there's another little sensitive me running around the castle. Just, did you know that I wasn't even potty trained till I was eight years old? It was... It was a mess! Hey, I just, see, hey, hey, take a beat, okay? Let's do those breathing exercises you taught me. Okay. And okay. in, two, three. Listen to me. Don't breathe in and out too fast. In, two, three. In, two, three. in out, two, three. Look, you may not be able to protect the castle with a sword and a bow, but I know you'll protect my heart. Blanche. Are you ready? I suppose I am. Proceed, Reggie. All right, all right, all right. So, so back, back to, to marriage and all that. Wait, if we're going to do this, like really do this, Blanche, then I need to tell you something. Now? While we're standing at the altar? Can't it wait, my dearest heart? I, I know, I know. It's not ideal, but love never is. L- love? But, but who could you possibly be in love? Back up, y'all. Announcing from a land far, far away, a keeper of words, a knower of self, and an all-around badass lady, Miss Amelia Story. I said back up, y'all. Amelia. Charmy. You are a vision. Stop. Stop this wedding. (laughs) No, no, no. Don't you dare stop this wedding. Amelia, what on earth is going on? PC said you were swallowed up in the gurgling belly of Fire Lake. I thought she was. Okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> I can't think when I'm dressed like a blown marshmallow. Can someone please explain this madness to me? All right, okay, I'll help you out. Amelia here, despite her best efforts, is in love with PC, and PC here loves her back. Amelia's struggling on two fronts. One, because you have been a genuine friend to her, and two, she has an internal struggle about being the cliched woman she's read about in her storybooks and falling for a prince. Because what if that means she'll surrender her entire identity to become someone else's wife and lose herself in the process? Is this true, Amelia? I would have added a bit more fervor in my delivery, but yeah, that's the general gist. Oh, thank God. (gasps) Someone tend to that map. All right, all right. Loyal Loyal subjects subjects of Second Second Kingdom. Kingdom. Just, Just, uh, you know, know, take take five five and we'll we'll be with you soon. Blanche, you're not upset? I'm relieved. It's like when PC passed out from that apple all over again. Uh, say what now? You're fine. I want to change the political landscape. I want to change the face of what a princess looks like, but I am also in love with another. (gasps) Blanche! Uh, glass houses and all that, Amelia? Sorry, reflex. But I was only marrying Charmy because in Second Kingdom, there is no way to have a political voice without marrying a royal prince like PC. We knew it wouldn't be easy. But after the troll attack and our betrothal, B told me about what it was like to be a commoner in Second Kingdom, which I have to admit, Amelia, I had never even considered. And then he shared his own fears yeah, about, about not, not being, being the type yep. of man the kingdom had envisioned as their king. Mm-hmm. I mean, look at him. No offense. Uh, yeah. Well, besides the point, he didn't want to abandon his political influence and lead a life of privilege without giving back. He didn't. But he also didn't want to abandon himself and his sensibilities. What were they? About peace and, peace community. and community. Yeah, see, and we thought that we had found the perfect life partner mm-hmm. who 
you know, under no circumstances did we want to see each other naked. Ever. I don't I don't know why his torso is so long. And she is so hairy. It keeps me warm. But then you dropped into this world and you messed everything up. BC, I don't want to do this if it will keep you from your true love. It's a painful way to live. I can't do that to you. And honestly, <laughs> Amelia, Bella is the greatest. We should double date sometime. <laughs> We've been together for years. People sort of assume we would both be single forever until I met Charmy. They even started making up stories about her and her dog being life partners. That's why there's always a dog around. Instead of us forging a political alliance, you can marry PC and become the princess. I won't have to marry someone I don't love because you can do it for me. If I can't lead this kingdom by his side, it's nice to know my best friend will be. I knew I was your best friend. I was supposed to teach you about finding your happy ending, but it led me to mine. Oh, Amelia, thank you so very much. This marriage absolutely solves everything. Huzzah! Uh, yeah, about that? Guys, I don't want to marry Charmy. Uh, what was it? I'm not a princess and I don't want to be one. I'm just a purveyor of fanciful tales that happen to fall in love with a prince. But it's only been a week, and most of that time I spent in a cocktail hour with the evil queen. You met Grisella? I am so glad we got her out of prison. Free Grisella! Free oh, she's the best. Sort of an alcoholic Gloria Steinem. So awesome. Hey, I don't want to interrupt you, ladies, but can we get back to the future and the entire fate of the kingdom? It's simple. I want you, but not all this. I... Uh, well... I was raised to be king. It's how I fulfill my destiny. Or so I'm told. I understand. But if I'm being honest, I never wanted to be king at all. I want to write music and, and poetry. He's really good. But what about your subjects? There is more than one way to leave your mark on this world, Amelia, and make it better. If I want to live happily ever after, then I need to renounce my birthright and fall in love with myself. Lady Amelia. If you'd be kind enough to stand by my side without titles or prospects, then I think this whole thing will work. You can't just leave us, PC. The throne will pass to your next of kin. Oh, that can't happen. Sir Ramsay is the absolute worst. The worst. He has major ties to the big bad wolf gang. Anti-equal dwarf right legislation. He could never rule the kingdom in a way that reflects all of its subjects. Blanche, we made a deal when I got here. You showed me my happy ending, and I teach you about how women take power in my world. I haven't kept up my side of the bargain. I mean, I didn't want to be rude and point that out, but since you are, you're right. Amelia, your dress! Oh, don't let Lucinda see you. She'll turn you into a toad. It's okay. I think this is why my essence constructed it this way. Magic is awesome, by the way. Okay, so awesome, right? It really is the best. On this part of my cloak is the constitution of the country I come from. It will help you create something called a democracy. Oh, and this democracy is a fairly constructed piece of literature that will lead to peace and equality in the kingdom? Well, not exactly. I'm sure it has its flaws, but the committee that drafted it was surely a well-chosen, highly curated representation of the country that it represents. Uh, not quite that either. Let's really just look at this as a blueprint. You'll need to create your own version and you'll need some help. Blanche, Charmy will appoint you as interim leader of the kingdom while you sit down with your council to create your own constitution that will guide Second Kingdom moving forward. Got it. And maybe add in literacy. This kingdom really needs more books. This council, who, who will be on it? Well, it's up to you. But I do think you have seven very opinionated voices whom you already trust. <laughs> <laughs> You'll have me. Why not? Yeah. The allegory is wonderful. And maybe add in Corky to get the voice of veterans represented. Sure, sure. Then at the end of the appointed period, there will be an election. And Second Kingdom will choose who the next leader will be. But what if they don't choose Blanche? Well, that's kind of part of freedom. You can't control it. But I have faith in the kingdom to make the right choice. Besides, I'm certain Grisella would be happy to pump your campaign full of the necessary funds you'll need to succeed. Huzzah! This is a lot, Amelia. What if I can't do it? Ranch, you can slay trolls, ogres, and big bad wolves, and now you're scared? Yes. I think if you're scared, that means you care. And that's what will make you wonderful. To Blanche the Carry! To Blanche the Carry! Well, don't scream it for everyone. It has, it has a nice ring to it. Now, the hard part. 
Charmy? Yes, my dearest love, the light of my life. Oh boy. I need you to stay and help Blanche set up her democracy. You are the rightful heir. Continuity will be crucial in a kingdom dedicated to tradition during this transition. I hate to say it, but she's right, PC. If you leave, this won't work. I need you. Second kingdom needs you. Amelia, I need you. And I want you, Charmy, but what I need is to find my way home and give you the space to do this. That's my ride. I'm sorry, a dragon? I'm in Second Kingdom. Think I'm not gonna find a way to play a dragon? <laughs> you want a boost? Yes, please. <laughs> <laughs> so, what now? That's up to you. I will find you, Amelia. I don't know how, but somehow I will. All right, all right. Um, uh, guys, no, what's happening? What, uh, why are uh, the subjects uh, crowding the steps of the palace? Lady, you gotta get out of here. You just introduced democracy to a bunch of staunch monarchists. Go, my love. I'll find you. Oh, Charmy. Yeah! you did incite a riot, but today was Second Kingdom's Boston Tea Party. They're storming of the Bastille. Amelia, wait! Charmy? Amelia, I'm coming with you! Where on earth did you get a dragon that fast? Go back! The kingdom needs you! Uh, oh! Whoa, girl, whoa! That's Fire Lake below us. If that's where the portal was before, I think it's our best chance. Chance at what? Our happy ending. No, you have to stay, Charmy. It'll never work between us if I know you chose to abandon your people for love. But Amelia. When Blanche is elected, come find me. Now, I'm sorry, but I have to do it again. What? Dive. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my lord. What in Disney's name happened to you last night? Charmy? Is that you? Charmy? Girl, that's a new one. No, it's your fairy god fairy, Bo. Oh, got into the stash, I see. What a princess. I'm not a princess. Blanches. Did you hit your head on your date last night? Was it that bad? Oh. Oh, no. What are you wearing? Is it the cloak of the pages? You're in that green jumpsuit I warned you about. It's the worst. I told you. Uh, oh. You okay? Fine. Just waking up from a lovely dream, I suppose. Gag. I love those. I have one where Meryl Streep is my dentist. And Let's have story time again today. I have an original I want to tell. That'll go well with my new shipment I just brought in. Tons of stories I've never heard of. New stories? Yeah. Really niche, oddly wonderful ones with titles like Corky and the Literacy Initiative. Uh, it, it must be very deep in the Grimm's canon. Let me see. Now, uh, 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 you first, you need a shower and a lot of mouthwash. I'm calling you an Uber. Ugh, everything is surging. Oh, 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 I got one of those cute little carriage thingies. He's pulling up now. <laughs> Love you, Wed. Yeah. Hey, uh, are you my Uber carriage? Lady Amelia? <gasps> Charmy? But how are you? Why are you so quickly? I think there's like an inception thing that occurred in the vortex. I had Merlin send me after Blanche won the election and turn Second Kingdom into a democracy. What? Wait, how do you know about Inception? Well, Merlin calibrated wrong and I've been here for like a week. I watched it on the, the box that yells at you. <laughs> the television? Yes, yes, television. I even caught that Eric Von Detten guy you raved about. Oh, this will be fun. But why an Uber drive? Er, oh, you're a starving artist now? This makes perfect sense. So? 
Where to, my love? Wherever we want. <laughs> yeah. And they all lived happily ever after. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>